Well, again, I'm really excited uh, just to get going again, be able to get outside and uh, hopefully get outside anyway and get some practice in. We're, uh, the last couple of days we've been breaking snow because it's kind of frozen underneath. So I'm not sure we'll get out there right away. I'm hoping that we can get enough sun, enough, enough warmth to get out there and be able to play. So we're excited to get out there. We've got a brand new uh, outlook from the standpoint of a nucleus of girls coming in. So we're excited about that. And, and you know, trying to get a feel for coaching style and get, getting a feel for the players kind of putting that together. I thought that our seniors did a great job of kind of keeping that unity together and did a super job of making sure that the direction that we were headed was one direction. So they did a great job. But now this year we've got 12 freshmen and I really think we have all of the main components to be one of, you know, an elite team. We've got speed, We've got power, we can hit for average. Uh, we've got everything that we need, but we've got two components, I think, that really need to come forward through the season, and that's really having our freshmen grow up, and I mean grow up from a maturity softball standpoint. They're very gifted, very athletic, but uh, I think if we can continue to, to kind of gel together and get that component uh, set up, and, and I feel really, really good about, you know, all of that uh, coming together and being able to, you know, hopefully challenge, not only at the RMAC, our, our goal is not, we want to look beyond, we really want to challenge the Dixie State, we really want to challenge West Texas A&M and, and be in that elite type program and make sure that we're headed in the right direction. And, Definitely. Um, I think we did a great job of taking the chemistry we had last year together and bringing it over for this year. Um, the chemistry with Coach is a lot better. We know what he expects from us. We all kind of bought into what he wants from us, and we're all doing a great job of trying to be there for him and stuff and be good for our team. Definitely. I think it's just part of Colorado softball at this point, um, especially dealing with like delays and having to work inside like we had to do a couple times last year. Uh, some of the new girls from warmer areas will have to get used to it, but as long as we just stick together as a team, like we'll get through this cold weather. Honestly, on everybody's mind, even the freshmen, I can tell they're coming in ready to go. Um, just winning that RMAC title right then and there, and then even taking it farther and going to regionals. We're ready to bear down and just get with it this season. We're ready to go. Yeah, well, it'd be nice to get some games under our belt because you know our first weekend is down in Fort Lewis and. They had tons of snow. So I don't know what's going to happen, you know, early part of the season. It'll be nice then we get home for two weeks. But we're just excited to get out, uh, you know, be able to play some games down in Vegas. We, we see five really good teams. I mean, they didn't take it e easy on us in that schedule. So, But, you know, that's really what we want to do. We want to be able to see the best so that when we get ready for the RMAC, we want to be – ready to go initially, but we want to be able to sustain that throughout and, and finish this year. We didn't finish like we needed to, really had a good part of the season early and then kind of, uh, I, I don't want to say we capped out, but you know, seeing a team three or four times and then seeing them in the tournament, uh, we didn't have a whole lot of adjustments that we could do from a pitching standpoint. Brooke was absolutely our horse, not that the other pitchers didn't do well, they did, but I think that was a key component to kind of solidify this team was to bring in some more needed talent, uh, some good pitchers, and I think that's the thing that's going to help us a lot. I think so. I think, Patty, the thing that, that you get a lot of uh, kids that may come from California, pitchers, or maybe coming from other places, you know, when they pitch here at altitude, it, the ball doesn't move as much. So you really have to learn how to be able to hit your spots. You've got to get the right movement. You've got to have some good off-speed pitches. And that's really the thing that we, we talked about is emphasizing the fact that, hey, we're not, we don't want to go out and try and out-hit everybody. We did a good job of that last year. We want to be able to win two-to-one ball games, three-to-two ball games, those type of deal, because our pitchers are giving us an opportunity. And 
I think we have those components. Again, they're freshmen, so they may have to grow up. Uh, we want to use Brooks' capacity a little bit more in the outfield, you know, starting her in center field and then you utilizing her as a closer as opposed to a starter all the time. Now, that may have to happen early on, but we'll kind of see how that goes. We really want to see what, um, you know, she gives us that opportunity to be a lot better team if she's in the outfield. I definitely have to say that I matured very quickly as a freshman, and that helped me in my game as well. Uh, just getting thrown in there probably got me off to a great start for my career as a college softball player. Um, yeah, I just had to deal with a lot of adversity last year because I wasn't so used to being in that number one pitching spot. I'm used to like playing in the outfield and just kind of like doing my job as that, but really as a pitcher, you just have to be on point every like every pitch, every second of the game. That definitely like matured me as a player. Well, and, and I tell you, the the group from last year really bought in early. You know, as a new coach coming into any program, it can be very difficult. It can be really tough if you don't have that buy-in both ways. And we had that. That made it easy. It really made it easy for me to coach. But now that nucleus of new uh, freshmen coming in. I guess there's nobody else to blame but myself if it doesn't work out. But I really think the, again, we went out to get the best athletic softball player that's out there. And yeah, they have a lot of other components, but that's a lot of freshmen. You know, and not knowing a four year, you know, coming to a four year institution, they're used to playing high school maybe 18, 23 games if they make it to state. Well, We'll have 23 games in within the first month, so it's gonna, it's, you know, it's a long haul. They just need to be able to stay with it. Uh, I, I think I've mentioned uh, Brooke is one of our captains. Uh, you know, it's like herding cats with our freshmen sometimes because they don't know what they don't know. If nobody's out on the field, guess what? They're not going to go out there because they don't want to show anybody up. Well, we need to make sure we push them to that because they want to do that because that's the kind of kids they are, but they need somebody to be able to show them the way. So. We've got some great so kids coming really back. We do kids. with Michaela and, yeah. and Brooke and Zoe. And Zoe just had a, a procedure done on her hip that's going to give a, she, she feels great. So gives us an opportunity to be able to get her behind the plate. Um, Sarah is healthy. Uh, hopefully, having her back in the outfield too kind of helps solidify that. And then we've got a couple freshmen uh, that may be our one and two leadoff hitters that, that are just super quick, that are very, very talented. That, you know, I call them the rabbits because if they get on base, we have a good opportunity to score. So they have to set the table. And if that happens, uh, you know, we're going to be okay. I've got a kid transferred in from, uh, she actually came from Midland. She's a New Zealand kid. She, she's an All-American, hits the ball a ton. Just going to be a, a great asset to us. So I'm really excited to put all of those pieces together and see where it takes us.